Okay. Uh, Brody listens in Oak Harbor, Washington. Patrick is a new listener in Avoca, PA. Jake's down in Charlotte. Hey, Carrie. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. hi. What's up? So I just wanted to throw my two cents in on the DoorDash topic. Yep. Um, being a retired professional DoorDash driver, I'm really surprised all this uh, fuss has been recently created over the tipping and are you sure you don't want to because then there's going to be repercussions. Listen, every DoorDash driver can see what the compensation is, including tip, before they accept the order. So it just gets passed down the line and kicked down the line if you don't want to take it. And during heavy volume times, you're not obligated to take in an order because if it's a crummy crap, uh, crummy compensation, there's going to be another order behind it anyway. So they just kick that down the line to the next driver. Well, then, Carrie, and, they, they, they must differ then because I got texts from people who used to drive too, and they said that you don't know what the tip is until you mark it delivered. No, no. Usually on DoorDash specifically, and I did it for two years, it'll tell you in the beginning before you accept the order what the compensation is going to be. Now, if they tip, they call that the guarantee. So if the customer tips over that, uh, let's say they, they tell you it's going to be a $5 tip and it ends up being 7 It'll tell you that after you've marked it delivered. But you always get the compensation up front. And just side note, man, Cody, 3 bucks a dollar per <laughs> item. That's, all the door, that's all the door dashers are, are hitting me up calling Cody a piece of crap. But well, at least, he at least he's, a man, he's a man of limited means. Well, that's why you shouldn't well, be ordering. Regardless. Yeah, I agree. Then you walk your butt, you walk the busted butt <laughs> up yeah. to your merchant and go get it yourself. Because, listen, people are investing their gas, they're investing mileage on their car. So I always, you know what I do? I give them cash off the app, and I put that in the delivery comments. I tip cash because what it does is it throws it back on Uber Eats or DoorDash to compensate higher, and then that driver's making more money because they don't know what I'm tipping them in cash. And I always throw them between five and eight bucks. Like, really, I really do because yeah. they deserve it. Yeah, I'm at least tipping five dollars on anything that's yeah, getting I'm delivered. Yeah, I'm a good tipper, boy. Yeah, yeah I am but, too. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's ten or twelve, but like, but you're that's not. Too much. You're not out there driving. But I get anymore, a lot of Carrie. stuff. And it's, Say what now? You're not out there driving for it anymore. Nah, nah, nah. I had to step aside and let the. Let the young bucks take over. The young bucks. You rate. sound like you're 22, Carrie. So I'm, you know. <laughs> Pound Cake was <laughs> on the so phone. Hard. Yeah. Pound Cake was on the phone when you were saying that. Please tell him again so he can actually hear you. Dude, Cody, please take into consideration gas and mileage when you're tipping these people. I mean, a buck an item, that's not right. Just saying. Love you, though. <laughs> Thanks. Love you, too. Uh, no. no. He's I'm like, yeah, no. I, I just no, want, I ain't going to do that. I just won't order anymore. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Is he okay? Hello? Hey, Joe, you all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was running into my vehicle so I can actually get to this phone call. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, pretty much what the, the lady was saying beforehand, too. I mean, like, in strong agreements to that. Especially with, with, um, I mean, gas is gas, and you have to pay for it, but the wear and tear, the time, like, sometimes they can send you to, like, grocery stores to pick up 10 items. Like, you know how long that takes? What about you the know, wear people, and tear on Pound Cake's colon from all the foodies ordering? Yeah. But I'm not sending anybody right. to a grocery store. And if I did send one, someone to a grocery store for 10 items, I would tip $10. Well, because somebody texted me and they're like, where the hell are you ordering food from that it's cold when it gets you? I'm like, it's half cold when it leaves the restaurant because it's sitting in a bag in the delivery pickup area. They so you have like right. a warmer. Usually, you know, the smart ones have a, like a the, the insulated bag in their car, but a lot of them don't. So you're like, okay, I mean, you know. I'm, I'm just talking, like, picking up food. When I go to pick up food from, like, a restaurant, it's a, sitting on the counter in a bag, so it's already half cold. I'm not going to pay somebody to bring me that. You know, and, and along in that same vein, is like, all right, pound cake, using you as an example, how much is your time worth to go shopping for somebody or for them to pick up food and take it to your, take it to your house on a Friday night? That's a bad example Sunday, because I'm not I'm not sending anybody to the grocery store. I don't do Uber. I'm not even talking about the grocery store. I'm do, talking about even food in general, like for the convenience factor of it. 
Hence why, like, if it's a convenience, you should pay. And if you can't afford it, you know, then... I can't afford it. If if something something is within five miles, uh, if you guys want to map it out here and, and calculate the gas, calculate the gas. If something is within five miles from my house, it would take me... 15, 20 minutes to get, not even 15, 10 minutes to get there. I could do it, but I'm employing someone. So take it up with Uber, DoorDash, and whoever is the employer. I'm not, if it were me, you know, if I wasn't lazy, I could do it myself. I choose to use the app and delivery, so I'm, I'm giving you some money. I'm not going to tip you $10, $15 for, a, a, that's, I could buy two meals for that. Feel me? You get you get no, a percentage. At that point, it's understandable with what you're saying. Okay, but I'm asking you what your time is worth. I mean, you you, you being a man of uh, of low means is the same thing. But I don't. But that's what I'm saying. When it was when I was stretched thin during the week and I didn't feel like grocery shopping because I was doing you know 12 hour days, five days a week. I didn't feel like going to the store. So yes, it was worth it to me to just, if it was the only time I literally ate that day. Uh, yes, I would pay twenty twenty dollars for uh, something on Uber Eats. I would do that. And I would but pound t- cake. If you were a driver, wouldn't you complain about a three dollar tip? Uh, no. You wouldn't. Yeah, yeah you I mean, would. Shut yes, up. You would. Yeah, you would. You do. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. You bitch, because, bad bitch. Because, give me only three dollars. <laughs> broke ass, broke ass hoe. <laughs> no, I wouldn't because I'm like that. That's a part of the job. I mean, yeah, I, I would be like, oh, well. If it's that not one, part of your job to not get paid or to be appreciated, you know, the customer is happy. I didn't say I, did, I didn't say I didn't appreciate you. You're the one that chose you. to want to get done. You're the one that you chose know, to DoorDash do and Grubhub, They do not give you everything that you guys even. Uh, it's, it's, the, everybody's the, underpaid. Stand and no up, one's ever okay, well, stand up for your rights. Take it up with DoorDash and Uber Eats. Like, that's not me. I'm not going to pay you five, ten dollars <laughs> I'm not going to pay you 5 or $10 dollars for a, a five or six dollar meal, you're tripping. That's not that's not a me issue. That's not a low tip thing for me. That's a universal thing. I'm not I'm not gonna pay you that. I'm sorry. You get an hourly wage or something. You, to get from West, uh, West 117th all the way over to Rocky River to the BW threes, and then back. And let's say, just making up an example, you live back over on West 117th. How long would that take you? And then waiting in line. Okay, making sure that you get back to your That's house. That's not nice my warm, so issue. That's not my issue. You're trying to make it my issue. That's not my issue. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If it's too far, if you got to do a cost-benefit analysis. If you say, if this person might not tip me, if I know that I've been getting low tips today, do I really want to make this journey? Could, can I really afford to, to take this trip and not get tipped? Then you say no. But that's it's like, not, the, it's like it's the customer. Uber, it's like the Uber driver who wouldn't oh, take us to Bay Village because he wanted to hang and, out and, downtown. And I'm, and I'm not saying I wouldn't be the person to not tip. I'm not going to give you five or ten dollars for a tip. I would tip if I if my McDonald's meal and now McDonald's is going up. But if I pay fifteen dollars for a, a McDonald's meal and then they tack on the delivery fee. I don't know that you don't get that part of that delivery fee. I thought that was a part of it. I thought that was the customer service. I thought you get part of the the delivery fee, and then you know some of the tip, all of the tip. So I can tip you. You know three the dollars. customer service part of that. When you're paying the fee, that pays for the for the people that are answering the phones, for the technology, for them to even get a hold of us. Again, you're mad at the wrong person. You I, you have probably done multiple if you're multiple to pay for runs a day. Poundcake, are you saying that these apps should pay their people more? Absolutely, they well, should pay that's these what people the pe- more. But that's what the people who, but they're not gonna. That's what the people who work for these companies so say. They're, but so they're not gonna. So they ta- these companies take every opportunity to not pay them more. So here, here's a solution, because I'm not going to pay more either. I'm not going to pay more. I'm just not going to use the app. So you and me can get together. We can start a union and then, you know, get mad at Uber and protest. I'm with you there. But I'm not going to pay five and ten dollars more on a five or ten dollar meal you're tripping i'm just not going to use it i can go without it was a matter of convenience and when you make it inconvenient for me supply and demand he's so mad because that's (laughs) bs i'm not you're ridiculous there's people that don't tip at all and they feel like oh you order off the service they're already you know getting as much as they can out of you and now you're mad that you don't tip enough you're bugging I live. It's not the it's the whole it's the whole service in general. The people that order through it 
are part of it as well. Like you guys are just as guilty as the I'm not. Gu- I'm not. I'm not guilty as the employer. I'm not as guilty as the employer. You're mad at the wrong person. So if you spend five dollars on Grubhub or Uber mm-hmm. or DoorDash, mm-hmm. you, pay, you spend five dollars. If I spend five dollars, yes. Much, I'm talking about total five dollars for a five dollar meal. How much do you think the employer is? How much do you think the employee, the person that's delivering it to you, I don't, I don't is know. getting paid out of all of that? I don't know about all that. I don't. I don't know. Well, you should take that into consideration. No, as a whole. I'm not taking that into consideration. <laughs> no, I'm not taking that into consideration. You're such you're a piece there. of crap. I'm not, I'm not a no, crap. I'm telling you, the, te- the, the texts I'm getting, they're 50 50 for and against Cody. Job. No, but there's a lot of people that don't like tipping. I like to tip. I, I, I want to, if someone's going to bring me if food, you, I'm going to tip them at least $5. Do, you can do one or two things. Here's what you can do, and maybe people will have a soft side. If you want to wear a shirt that says, please tip, we don't make blah, blah, blah. I remember when uh, we were in school, teachers who would protest, they would wear a little button to say, I don't want to strike, but I will if I have to. If you want to do something like that, maybe you'll pull at the heartstrings of the people that have it. And then maybe I'm like, you know what? I didn't know you weren't getting paid, right? Maybe I got some cash for you. I'll give you a little some extra. But I'm not going to do it all willy-nilly because I'm hurting too. How Sorry. Do you, how do you tip when you just go yeah, to a restaurant? The, way, the best way of not hurting is to save your money and not to spend it on, well, uh, then on you're convenience out of a job. items. Well, then you're out of a job then. Hey, th- will, then you know what? Th- th- then the crops will get thinned out and the strong will well, survive if everyone on thought that. like you, then no one will have anything because everyone's just going to just not order anything. Well, you're, mad at, you're mad at the wrong Absolutely. person. You're mad at the wrong person. I'm not, uh, Cody, I'm not even mad at you. You sound I'm like the it. The statement that you're trying to justify is unjustifiable. It is. A, do- a dollar an item? for a, a, Three items on a your A dollar rates. an item if you got to drive 10 miles for three items at not, three bucks in Cleveland. You're making assumptions. You're making assumptions. You're making assumptions. I live in Cleveland. I've lived in Cody, Cleveland proper. Cody, you driven for $8 no, straight No, listen to me. City. You're making assumptions. I've never ordered. You're making assumptions. I live in Cleveland proper. I have never ordered anything that is 10 miles away. I'm not ordering stuff from Westlake or, or Berea or Bay Village or anything like that. I will order Cleveland proper. Tell me how long it would take if you're ordering from me. And only me, that would take me take you 10 minutes and 10 miles to get to me. There's not a place. So I wouldn't do that. Uh, yes, there is. If you lived over on East 173rd, and I have to take but it to West 152nd, but I don't. how long do you think <laughs> that would take me? That's Cleveland, That's Cleveland proper. That's Cleveland proper. Well, you're not, you're, right. save it for the next guy. Pound cake, do you tip when you do carry out? No. No, I don't. If you pick up carry out, you don't tip. Nope, and now I won't, because now y'all pushing my buttons. I don't like being bullied, so now no one's oh, getting a tip. We, we did not ruin that for <laughs> you, Cody. No, no, you're not getting a tip now. Now my $3 are too little. Well, I'm too poor, and I'm not going to order out, and when I do, no one's getting nothing. Now, Joe, d- <laughs> Joe does have a good point, though. A lot of people think that that delivery fee is the tip. And that's not necessarily the case. I didn't start that fire. <laughs> I always uh, said per All item. right, thank you, Joe. I appreciate the insight. Thank okay, you. Okay, how thank much you. do you, if you go out to dinner, how much do you tip? 15%. Oh, you are, stop going out, man. Why? 20%. It was 15%. It was 15% when I was growing up. They when you it. were growing up, you know, things change, right? It was probably 10% when I was growing up. But now I I tip a lot. I tip at least twenty percent. And if I go, if I pick something up, the servers still have to. Like I go to Grandma and I have dinner, and one of the things that we get regularly is uh, from a barbecue place. And those people that put together the barbe- the takeout orders are also serving tables, so they have to stop t- serving their tables to go and put together my order, which is just as much, if not more than what they're doing for their tables, so I tip well on that order. Usually it's about a 30-something dollar order. I'll throw them 10 bucks. People texting me are also making the case that with gas and car maintenance and all that, it's way more expensive to be a delivery driver than to be a server. Right. Because you're driving to work, then serving, and then leaving. The whole point is I'm being lazy and not leaving my house. I'm going to take care of the person that got me my food. You're paying for the convenience. Yes. Essentially. Oh my gosh. But again, I've never so changed I've, my mind. I'm I've never my ways. I've never used that you're gonna tip even less than the awful tips you were leaving before. No. It's, <laughs> it's not like you were tipping a lot and you're like, you changed my mind, I'm not gonna tip so much. You were already tripping uh, tipping poorly. You guys let me see the error of my ways. 
I appreciate that. I would just be embarrassed if I was with you and you tip 15%. Well, well I don't care. Don't go with me then. I'm not. I, 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 if I saw your tip, I'd be like, I got to throw some more money down because he left a bank. Yeah, tip. you kind of have to make up for the tip. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was the, I thought that was the standard. I thought 15% was the standard. I've always tipped twenty percent. So I do too. So it's twenty percent. Not only that, now, but for me, not least. only for math, the math is just easier for me. Right. Twenty percent math is way easier. And it also depends. Like I would, I would do sometimes. Tip, for me, twenty is the minimum. And if I, if, and, I, if I like the person, like if I have loose cash, which is rare, if I have cash, I will put that, and then I will also do something on the card. It, but so, sometimes I'm not paying for the meal. Sometimes I'm with someone else who will pay the meal. If you, because this happens to me a lot. If you're at a bar and you order a bunch of drinks, right? My card's open. I've got a couple of rounds. and But they know who I am. Didn't charge me for all of them. Oh, you got to overtip. Will you tip on what the bill would have been or what they give you? Um, it, I No, I usually tip what it would have been for sure i don't okay. want, i don't want to do that i don't want to just now do you tip per drink on that or do you drink <laughs> is it a bucket drink is it a bucket drink or is it are you tipping uh based on the percentage it's a bucket drink a bucket drink alan it literally says next to the delivery fee that the driver gets none of it maybe on some I don't that, see that well that, yeah Uber that's not i don't think that's a universal bit of fine print i think there are some people are making a lot of assumptions well, but when you don't have all the information, that's all you're left to do. Yeah, so I did, when I did people have all that information, and I thought, I thought, you know, I, there it's rare. It's it happens sometimes, but it's rare that they're delivering it directly to me. Usually, there's a wait a time. They're like, oh, this person is has a couple stops along the way. So I figure if each person is tipping per item, you know, they're they're making you know, three dollars at this house, four dollars at this house. Five dollars at this house, and then my little measly three dollars. You know, they made they came out pretty good. It le it's less than an hour, and you banked, you know, twenty some dollars. I look at that as a win, and that's just an hour of your day. I, don't I guess know my I guess my thought is, there's no one driving delivery who's making a ton of money. There, you probably can't get paid enough to come out on top with that, right? So it ends up maybe you're breaking even, maybe you're covering a couple of costs. I don't know. I've I've never. I've never delivery driven and I've never ordered off of these apps, but it certainly doesn't seem like it's any situation, delivery fees or tips or not, that anybody is killing it on these. Well, they're probably not. Now I feel really bad and now I won't do it anymore. You won't do what? I just won't order out anymore. Well, that's what people are suggesting. Well, if, I will. if you can't if you can't afford to tip properly, you shouldn't be engaging in that transaction. I didn't. I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought that that was that was a good tip. Tipping three dollars. Like I didn't know you tip percentage on a delivery. Like that's well, that's, either your friend group, ridiculous. either all your friends are trash tippers, or I don't people. Look, I don't look people, at their tip every time they're ordering something for me. But but surely you've been in a situation where somebody has seen that you're tipping and they go, "What? No. no well, then ever, they're all trash tippers. No one's ever looked at my phone and said, how much did you leave the driver? Like, they don't. No, 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 no. Like, like at a restaurant or like something. Like when you're signing a, a, a check. No, I will ask. I'll say, how much should I leave? I'll look at the person like, oh, this person was really good. How, I mean, how, now how they give you the math on the bottom. Like, you know, you go to the place where it's got the, the they have the square yeah, tablet where you it, sign. Yeah. You go to like Mitchell's or whatever. Mm -hmm. They got the buttons right there. The suggested tipping, they give you the amount. You know, I'm not doing do it. Do the custom tip. You're not doing it. Well, no, I would, I would do... Because a lot of times those percentages, it'd be, it'd be like your your suggested tip should be like something dollars and some change. I'm like, well, I'm not going to leave change. So I round down. <laughs> round down. down. He oh. rounds down. I'm like, oh, my, it's fifteen thirty six. you're embarrassing. Fifteen thirty six. you'll get $15. Wow. $15. You couldn't just go 16 you He rounds down. He rounds down. I love it. So you'd rather have the Mary, 30, Mary you'd rather have here the today. 36 cents. Mary would be choking you she right now. She would be lighting you up, boy. I don't boy. care. I know you don't. That's the best part. I don't get it. It wouldn't don't be care. it wouldn't be fun if you cared. You don't care. I know. You'd rather have the 36 cents. That you'll it's like that amount of money you'd lose in your couch and never know it was gone. Round down. That is the perfect coda to this whole conversation. Yeah, his pound cake rounds down. I love it. Hey, I'm going to have tickets for you to see Young Bill Squire at the Agora. He's taping a new comedy special right before Christmas. It's the 22nd of December. It's a Friday night uh, with Mary and Martin Malloy. I'll have those tickets for you. I'll have more than six but fewer than ten minutes with our buddy Greg Fitzsimmons.
He's in a new film called The Road Dog. So we're going to talk about that on Zoom. And um, I'll have another $1,000 for you coming up at 4.30. Listen for that next keyword to grab a grand from the buzzard bookie. It's the Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite smart device. Just tell it to play the Alan Cox Show. On iHeartRadio. From the Mr. Hero. I crave the hero. Weather Center. WMMS Weather. Partly cloudy tonight with lows 